Welcome back to my channel, you guys. This look today is featuring all affordable products that I love. So there's a lot of drugstore, there's some ColourPop, some Morphe, things like that. All things that are in kind of a drugstore price range and they are all products that I've used quite a bit and that I love. So I hope this video is enjoyable and helpful for you. Please leave me a comment what your favorite affordable products are and have an amazing day. Starting off with a primer that I love, the Maybelline Master, whoa, I was just showing you the back of the container. The Maybelline Master Prime. This one is the Blur and Smooth, and I really, really like this primer. I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation today. And let me tell you my thoughts on this foundation. I've used it quite a bit. I think the um, first time I tried it was a little over a year ago and I've repurchased it a number of times just to use for myself. I don't ever use it on clients and I really like this foundation. I really like the coverage that it gives. It's a nice full coverage and it's just a good base for when you want a glam look but you want to be affordable and use something from the drugstore. I have two complaints about this foundation. Um, so the first one is the smell. It does have a strong kind of chemically smell, which I'm not a fan of, but I am very used to it at this point and I don't even notice it. And once it's on my face and blended it out and everything, it's not like you continue to smell it throughout the day. So that's my one complaint. It does have an odd smell, but it doesn't really bother me. And then my other complaint is it's not the most long wearing foundation in the whole world. Once I've worn it for about like 12 or 14 hours, then it's just kind of done. Um, but for the price, which I believe it's between four and six dollars, so I need to check. It is like one of the most affordable foundations at the drugstore. I'm kind of running low on this bottle, so that's why I just keep going in and getting more. There's so many things I like about it, like the coverage and the way that it looks for, you know, 12 or so hours of wear, that for the price, it's a great foundation. But, you know, I'm not going to tell you that it just lasts, you know, 18 hours looking perfect. So I am using my Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation Plus Concealer as concealer and I know that you might not think of this as an affordable product, I mean it's not from the drugstore or anything, but I am going to consider it an affordable product because for the amount of product you get for the price, it kind of evens out to be like buying a 9 or $10 tube of concealer. And to me, that is more in the affordable range, especially for how good this is. So I'm kind of cheating a little bit, but you get the idea. Setting all over the face, and I already set under the eyes, but I'm setting everything with the RCMA No Color Powder. Now for the fun part, the eyeshadow. I'm gonna be using a ColourPop palette today, the Give It To Me Straight palette. It looks like this, and it is one of my favorites. It has really nice warm tones, the shimmers are really, really pretty, and it really is great quality for the price, in my opinion. So I'm gonna start off with the shade Downright on my BH Cosmetics V5 blending brush and I'm gonna run that through the crease. I actually did a poll on my Instagram story asking if for this video you guys would rather see me use a ColourPop palette or a Morphe palette and it was almost perfectly 50-50. There was literally just a couple more votes for ColourPop. So I'm doing ColourPop but it definitely showed me that you guys like Morphe, which I love Morphe palettes, so I'll definitely be doing more videos in the future. 
I'm gonna go into the shade BS now. It's kind of an orange shade. I'll definitely do some more affordable videos and just videos with Morphe palettes because I love my Morphe palettes. So I'm just taking this orange shade, it's very pigmented, and I'm taking that on the out, it's basically the outer third or outer half of my eye. Now the color Frank, this nice just kind of medium matte brown. And I'm starting by stamping that on the lower part of my lid and then slowly working it up. Taking a little bit more. With eyeshadow, it's all about slowly building. You want to start with a small amount of product and you want to use a really light hand. That's why I hold my brush toward the end of the handle so that I can use a really light touch as I'm just softly blending because if you go in with a ton of product and you're like going in really heavy handed then it's just going to be more messy and take a lot longer to blend out. So I did all of those colors with the same eyeshadow brush and now I'm getting a smaller fluffy brush and I'm going to actually mix the, oh, this color is called actually. I'm going to actually get some actually and mix it with a little bit of Frank. And I'm going to try and keep that very low on the lid. And then I'm grabbing the other bigger brush and I'm not putting any additional product on it and just blending a little bit more. This eyeshadow look turned out more blown out than I intended it to, and there's things I could do to kind of reel it in, but I am actually not mad about it. I, I like a good blown out eye. One thing I'm actually gonna do to just kind of reel it in a little bit, I, I don't want the eyeshadow to go out quite that far, so I'm taking my powder brush that I used with the RCMA no color powder and I'm not adding anything additional. I'm kind of squishing it down and I'm just sort of going over the edges of the eyeshadow and it's just going to soften it so it's not quite so much. So this shimmer shade straight up, it's a nice bronzy kind of color. I'm going to take that on my finger and apply it all over the lid. Such a nice shimmer. Really, really good quality. And I just love applying shimmers with my finger. I just feel like the payoff is always so nice that way. Now I'm grabbing the shade up front, which I love this lid shade. It is such a good, just like bright lid shade. And I'm going to apply that on the inner third of my lid over top of the other shade to kind of blend them together. And I have some more of that other shade still left on my finger, so I'm going to kind of blend where the two meet. I'm just going over the edges with my smaller fluffy brush. I'm really liking the way this kind of warm bronzy look is coming together. Now taking an even smaller, more dense kind of fluffy brush, I'm going to go into Frank and a little bit of BS and go along the lower lash line. And I think I'm gonna go a little smoky on the bottom, cause why not? And then I'm gonna take just a little bit of Actually and run that just really close to the lashes, that darker shade. I think I wanna keep everything kind of soft, so I'm going to grab an angled brush and just use that Actually color as a liner. Now I will use this up front shade as a brow bone and inner corner highlight. I put on some mascara and while I'm letting that dry before I put on my lashes, I am going to bronze up my face, which I definitely could use some warmth and dimension right now. I'm gonna use the L'Oreal 
True Match Lumi Bronze It. I use the shade Light and I really enjoy this bronzer. It's a really nice tone. It's not like too orangey. It's kind of got a little bit of a cooler tone to it for a bronzer and it has a little bit of a glow and a sheen to it but not too much. So I really enjoy this bronzer. I'm going to use a big fluffy bronzer brush. See how it's a really nice color? I I really like it. It's not sometimes bronzers can be too warm and this one is just like the perfect tone. I'm going to use some Kiss Lashes today. This is the style Pompadour. They are kind of like the number 11s that I like, but they're just denser and darker. So I'm going to trim these, put some glue on them, and let the glue get tacky. I'm going to actually take my eyelash curler and just curl these falsies together with my natural lashes to give them a little bit of a lift. See the difference between this eye and this eye? Sometimes depending on the lash I feel inclined to do that, it just opens up the eyes even more. My most favorite affordable highlighter is probably this one. It's the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter and it's unlike anything else I have. It's very subtle and natural and makes you look like you're glowing from within in a way that I really love. Let me show you. Do you see that? I love it! And I am obsessed with the way that this highlighter looks with the Milani Luminoso blush. They were seriously made for each other. I love it. For lips, I'm going to do my one of my favorite nude lip combos again. It's the Flower Beauty. Uh, matte lipstick in Naked Blush. And you can use really any neutral lip liner just to perfect the edges. And then the LA Girl Glazed Lip Paint in the color Whisper. And kind of like the foundation we used, this product has a weird smell too. So I never use it on clients. I don't ever like to use products that have a weird or a strong smell on clients, but it does not bother me at all once it's on my lips, but just a little heads up. I have to say I'm really liking how this look turned out. I feel very bronzy and just good about it. So let's lock in place, of course, with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I think I want just a little more blush now that I'm looking at everything all together. This is the final look. I hope you like it. I really like how it turned out. And it was using all affordable products that I love. And I wanna know what your favorite affordable products are because I'm a little addicted to trying new products like from the drugstore and you know that are affordable and just in general. So please leave a comment below telling me what you love. And I hope what am I saying? Please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. It means so much to me. I love you guys so much and have an amazing day. Bye.